Good morning everybody, it's Friday morning and uh, back for another shave and I've got about 35 minutes before I need to be out the door. Um, so I should be able to get this done pretty quick. Um, i got a head shave to do, which I'll do off camera. And I've got my uh, straight razor shave. I'm using that gold dollar again. I put uh, 20 laps on the on this side of mine and I put 50 laps here. So it might be too many, um, but we'll see. So. And then uh, using my Fat Arley, my second one, number two, what I call it Fat Arley number two. I'm using the Fat, because it's Fat Friday. And then aftershave, I'm going to use the Integrity Balm, most likely. things are My aftershave always changes, I never, sometimes I tweak it. And Ginger's Garden for your fern. Um, the skin is getting better, I'm going to start loading the brush. Um, it was definitely uh, an irritating shave yesterday afterwards. Um, I pretty much felt it all the way around. I, I kept putting, I took uh, the Renewal by Soap Commander Balm to me, with, me, with me to work. And then I took some Witch Hazel. And I just ended up using the Balm because I didn't have time to run to the bathroom and put some Witch Hazel, you know, wash my hands after the Witch Hazel, all that. So I just kept putting the Balm on. And then last night I got home and I put uh, the Lemon Witch Hazel on. And right before bed I took a nice cooling uh, aloe vera gel. Um, like you'd use for sunburn on my neck and it seems to have done a pretty good job. I was out in the heat yesterday sweating a lot too so that I was going to irritated skin that even makes it worse. So got some really good tips um, and I'm going to try to put some of those into effect today. Um, I do want to quickly say um, Andrew WC um, I know you made a couple comments lately um, I just want to say thank you and uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that uh, the part of the series that you watched um, guys, I try to respond back to most comments, but for some reason, um, YouTube slash G plus doesn't always let me. Sometimes it'll like for these last two that Andrew, um, commented on, all it shows is I can report them. Well, I obviously don't want to report the guy. I like his comments. I want to, you know, say thank you, you know, and that kind of stuff. But you know, some, most of the time it's that, or I shouldn't say most times, a majority of the time. And then other times it's either I just didn't get to it. And then there's other times where, especially if it's not within a couple days for some reason, it once again, it won't even notify me that there's been comments made on the video. So. A little bit of housekeeping there. I'll let you guys know that I do, I really do appreciate the feedback. I appreciate, you know, the advice you guys give, the encouragement, it just means a lot. So this will be the end of the classic series and day number two of my consecutive straight shaves. I'm really glad I'm ending on this. It allows me to uh, end on, a, on a, once again a really good, good soap. Be a little finicky to lather. Um, I found, but the post shave feel feels really good. So I'm hoping that will really uh, help with what irritation I have. I'm probably only going to do a two pass shave today, just because of time. If I had time, I would do a three, but also to let my skin hopefully heal a little bit too. So, taking all that into account. Hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday. Fridays are always hard for me because uh, I have to go into work earlier. Um, so we can get out earlier, start our weekend a little sooner. So it's so hard for me, like today, skip the gym so I could get a little bit of rest, but then I got the kids this weekend. When I have them, there's not much rest being given, or available I should say. Right, plenty of lather here. Old dollars ready to go. 
You can see my uh, cut from my ear the other, uh, yesterday. That was a fun little thing. Not paying attention to the uh, where the blade is when I start. I'm still worried about the angle. So nice having a community that uh, you can ask for advice as you're learning this stuff. You know, uh, it's back in the day your father would have, uh, when this is all the only way you had, your dad would have, you know, been there to help you. And Pick the ginger's garden too so I can have a nice uh, good post shave feel as well kind of combined together. Sorry there's not a lot of talking but I'm just really trying to focus and uh, also not try to rush because I know I'm in a hurry. You know, the last thing you want to do with any razor but let alone a straight is rush. One of the tips for the neck that was given to me, and just in general with against the grain, was a shallower angle. Uh, it was Jam and GI James, and then uh, forget who it was right now. Sorry, I'm blanking. Early in the morning, still for me. Um, but just uh, remembering the pressure and to you know use light pressure. Was it just that phone call? First pass down, rinse off real quick. Good. Try to add more water to it. It started to, it took a little while, but it started to dry out at the end.
and I'd rather have a slick lather than a cushiony lather with the straight on to glide more. Should have plenty on here for my head shave as well. I also switched up yesterday. I went north to south, then south to north of my neck. I switched that up if you didn't notice that. Not my best lather day. It's dissipating. And that happens every once in a while. It's always hard for me, part for me, because right underneath the chin there, the bottom part of the chin, it's really coarse there, so it feels like I'm not getting a good enough sweep through. Look at the time, I've got a little bit more time. I'm gonna see where I'm at. Definitely socially acceptable, as I did yesterday. Um, I am just gonna try to do the jawline. Try to see if I can't. Gonna be the one part that would, I'm just gonna try. I know I don't need to, but uh, I'm going to try it. Still 
little some roughage there, but it's better. All right, I'm going to pause, clean up, and I'm also going to do my head shave, and I'll be back to go over the shave and the aftershave. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to do my head shave. Really nice head shave. Uh, the face shave, I used the uh, Kronos that uh, Ray gave me, and it worked pretty good. It was pretty mild to two passes with touch-ups, but it had, I want to say it's close to four days worth of growth on there, so it, it definitely did a decent job for a really mild razor. Um, for the face shave... Overall, this part feels really good. Left side feels really nice. I think I did really, really got this side figured, I don't want to say figured out, but much, much better. I, I would be happy with this side completely. This side, I need to work on against the grain a little bit, um, and then against the grain here. Still got a little bit of stuff there. Then my neck. My neck's never going to be a high point for me, especially with... Uh, well, even with D's, it can be really difficult, but I know I can get this spot better for sure around my jaw or chin. The rest of the neck is good enough for me for the most part. It it could use it can be closer. I know it can, um, like through here, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of little things, but that's where I'm at. Water on my hand. I have um, while the integrity balm was soaking in, I ran around the house. Got some things taken care of, got dressed. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do that Fougier fern. Or do I want to? Yeah, let's do Fougier fern. Somewhere I see a little blood on my head. I must have cut myself. I was doing a touch up and I thought I nicked myself, but I touched it, didn't feel any blood. Well, apparently, I did because I just saw some on my scalp and my hand. So, check that out in a few. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but it's on my head, so must have uh, dinged something. So, check that out. Everybody, I had to get going. Off to work, I go. I hope you guys had a wonderful day or having a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow on Saturday. God bless.